Welcome everyone, Major Frenchy from aimanablocks.com. Today we're building a homemade LED flash bar for our pinball cabinet. Stay tuned. So we've built um, a few different prototypes of this. The one we have currently on our machine um, is using the same kind of technique that we're going to show today, except uh, I don't think it's going to be as good uh, looking as this one that we're going to build together. Now, when you build stuff for like, it's very, it's not conventional. Like the building a, a pinball machine is not something that you get from a textbook somewhere. So it's some form of an art. Um, and uh, sometimes you get to think outside the box when you're building your stuff. So for example, in this particular uh, build, what I did is I knew kind of what I wanted to achieve. So I just ended up uh, visiting my local hardware store looking for, okay, what would make a nice bar? So what I got, this is a 3.8 aluminum stair nosing strip. And uh, what it is, it's just like, it's a piece of aluminum and it's gonna fit perfectly because see that edge? So that's gonna go against the top and then we're gonna have some, some room to screw and then we're gonna have room to fish all the wires behind and then we're going to drill holes in here for our lights. That's three volts, they're RGB and uh, we're gonna show you how to connect that. We have our dome, the dome that we uh, that we ordered, and uh, what we're gonna well, actually we're gonna have a kit at the end. You'll see uh, you can buy the the domes, the lights, and then our board, and then build your own. So that's a little tiny plastic dome, and then uh, what we're gonna use is five meters of Cat five wire. Uh, so you can buy a roll or, you know, if you have a box, see here we had a box, so we just uh, unroll five meter. And uh, we have our new board, this is version 2.0. What is different from the previous version is we just added a quick connection here. So you don't have to screw your wire, you just use this, you plug it in, and then you can just plug your 12 volt or 5 volt to this board. This board will manage both 5 or 12. And also we added uh, LED here. So when it's on, you know that the power is on your board. So basically what this does is you are gonna have all the lights from your, from this little guy. So three of them, actually four, there's power, there's RGB. So as you can see, there is a port for power, R, G, B. And uh, on the bottom, it's easy. It's R, G, B output going to your pack drive or the LED Wiz. So, and then here is actually our resistor. they are ceramic resistors and they're actually way more durable than any kind of uh, resistors out there. So that's what we're gonna use to, to build today. And so we're going to measure the, um, the nosing, uh, we're gonna cut it and uh, we are going to measure the distance. And then what we wanna add as well is we have strobes. Uh, we have two strobes that we have on our current machine. We're gonna end the grate them on this bar as well. So we're gonna have strobe, five lights, strobe, and all the wiring at the back. So we need about, I would say, two feet of wire. So you're gonna cut two feet of wire times five because you got five lights. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're going to strip the end. So what I did is I just cut all the other one. I kept the red, green, blue, and brown. Now the brown, I use this for the power. So the brown's gonna be the 12 volt or the five volt. In our case, we're gonna use 12 volts. And what we did is we labeled every one of them See, this one says uh, left. So we have left, we have outer left, 
we have middle, we have right and outer right. So label your cables. And the way that's going to work is once this is stripped. So for example, this is left. So it's going to go, the, tw the brown's going to go in the power, the red in the red, the green in the green, the blue in the blue. And then we're going to get the longer wire from here, RGB, and it's going to go to our LED whiz. That's it. We're going to use solder at the bottom. See the bottom right here? Uh, we're going to cover all three pins and then we're going to extend the solder to the little pad. So it's going to provide power to all three RGB. The R is for red. The top right here where there's nothing, it's green. And the B minus is going to be the blue. So you solder your wires from the RJ45 that we just showed onto this. So it will look like this. So what we do is we solder, you know, every wire on it. And then we, uh, I like to add glue on top of it. Uh, it just, I don't know, it's just an extra precaution for me. Just, I don't want the sod, like the, uh, the wire to unsoldered or something. I never had an issue with this. So I like to do this. I add a bit of glue. So we have four wires on here. And then what we do is we connect the 12, actually it's not 12 volt. Don't use 12 volts when you test because you're going to blow it. Use maximum of 3.5 volts. We connected the power on the brown that we just talked about. And then we're going to test the other wires. We're going to test the red, green, and blue. So it works. So we need to do this time five, and then uh, we're going to start uh, just arranging the uh, domes and then the lights on our aluminum bar. So we drill the holes in the uh, aluminum bar. Now when you're drilling the holes, just uh, pick a bit that's just uh, big enough so you can fit or you can fish the wire. And uh, you can see like that it's going to be hidden by the dome anyway, right? So we just got uh, the holes and then we got the holes as well for the strobe because the wire goes at the back. So what we did is we just uh, kind of left a little bit of space on each end, right? That, that kind of matches. And then we measured the distance between the two. So we have equal distance for the domes. So now we're just going to have to mount our lights in it like this and then we're going to glue that on the actual aluminum bar and I'm going to mount this with self-tapping metal screws for this. So here's our, our bar. Uh, this is finalized and uh, we're quite happy with it. It looks, it looks good. I like lighting up. I just connected two right now because this is going on my cab. So it's, I'm going to have to wire it in the cab. So, but see, right, green, blue, red, green, blue. And how we got this, it's simply using Or board here so we have we have 12 volts coming in that could be 5 volts as well and then this is the power for the LED the R the red the green and the blue and here is the output to the LED whiz so when the LED whiz triggers the action well the light lights up so and it's clearly marked here so while I say LED whiz, also the pack drive, it supports the pack drive. And um, 
you would have a wire going to one port on the LED Wiz. So each color has its own port. So let's just install that on the cab and uh, do some tests. Just in, spaceships from Mars are attacking the Earth. It's revenge from Mars! <laughs> 